Great rhymes and beautiful beings. I got this beautiful bowl, right? And see how it's wasting? Got this beautiful bowl from Walmart. But if I had to rate it, it looks big, but it's not big enough. Because it has the holes and the broth is gone. Like, do you know how small my soup has to be right now? I did bring me a spoon in case. Mm. So the aromatics in this are very nice. I used to smoke heron. These are regular pack ramen. Mm. Now, why are you tripping? You know how to do this. You've been doing this all your <laughs> life. Avocado. That a little long now. Celery. Cucumbers. Mm -hmm. This lime juice. Oh, my lime flipped out my hand, y'all. Wait a minute. It's oily. Oh. And what tops it off is the toasted sesame oil. The toasted sesame oil. I don't care if you just have a pack of ramen noodles with nothing in it. If you could just drop an egg. If you could just drop an egg and some toasted sesame oil, all you need is a tape, teaspoon. That aroma... Now, what hit me to toasted sesame oil was Korean egg drop soup. So, it's like this broth with one egg dropped in it and toasted sesame oil and scallions on top or green onions. We got coconut water with the pulp. Half of it gone from my smoothie. I'm glad... I'm glad I'm able to glad I'm able to make uh, videos for y'all. I don't know you didn't drop. And see the chopsticks. They help me. You know what? Because they're not wood. That's what it is. I was wondering why the food keeps slipping. It has no ridges on it. And they slippery from the oil. So, you got to be a professional. You got to be a professional to eat with it because ain't nothing holding your food. It's too slippery. I was wondering what was going on. See, when you use the wood, when they got ridges on it, like celery. Like this celery got ridges on it, right? See how the ridges on the celery? But I'm trying to pick up this cucumber. Um, what is going on? Might have to go get a fork. Oh, and when I eat down my broth, I had to get a ladle and get the broth out. See, the heron has little bone. And I could see me with a restaurant now and them bitching, uh-oh, and them bitching about bones and their food. You could tell them people test two babies. Now, I done got bones stuck before. 
because I'm raised around my uh, grandmother. We she cooked the fish bone in. I always ate the bone back and pulled the meat off of it. But these people today, see that heron? Spice level on the noodles. Give it a three. <laughs> a three. Now my mom would say, this is overkill. I can see it now. <laughs> you really use green <coughs> Dominican avocado. In soup. See that a hair run? Uh, I'm going to eat the cucumber and the hair run together because it's salty. It's a salty little fish. Cured fish. Oh, shoot, y'all. Come on. We ain't going to, we ain't going to move to no other subject until we get this right. Oh, no, you didn't. Come on. I don't care if I had to pick it up. Like. Mm -hmm. How many seconds we on? You should be shaming yourself. These little things are greasy. They should have put ridges on them, so... The bowl by design, the bowl by design, heron and cucumber. It's pretty, but it's not meant for you to eat a full bowl of soup. It's meant for a skimp ass bowl of soup. They shouldn't have never put them holes on them. Mm-hmm. Let me put my my juice back in them. I had to ladle some of the juice up. And it was too hot to drink. But yeah, those Dominican um, those Dominican green um, avocados go good with soup. They don't turn brown like Mm. I even put rosemary in here. Rosemary, fish sauce. Yep. So you can't eat things straight by the book. You have to use your flavor profile. I love celery seeds. I love kitchen rub sage. I love sage. I love rosemary. I love thyme. So even though I'm using Greek food, excuse me, Greek food or Spanish food or Italian food or Chinese food or Asian cuisine or anything like that, I still add my own. Like when I make my own agusi, I add celery seeds in it, Okay. A goosey is so much warmer and inviting to my palate with celery in it because that's how I like my stocks to be. Ooh. I like my stocks to have the warm flavor of home-cooked chicken stock or home-cooked, you know. Even ramen noodles, they put celery powder in them. Chicken ramen noodles? Heck yeah, they put celery powder. Why do you think people eat them? 
Mm, mm, mm. Come on, avocado. I got to eat it because it's turning brown. Mm-hmm. Where'd my lime go? Mm. When I made that um three hour live, I was so shocked nobody wanted to share the screen with me and get on camera. Not even somebody who just want to flirt or something like, hey, how you doing? Nobody. <laughs> I see why I be bored. I see why I be bored. I be like, dang. This delicious. Mm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> That smoothie was so good. See how it's turning dark? It wasn't even like that. See? It's barely. Now it is because I got it out. Oxidizer. Cucumber. I think I might take me a nap. The political aspect of the United States. See all the little bones? They don't bother me. They're soft. They're very soft. Um, the political aspect of the United States. I don't think these people are going to wake up. I feel bad for us. I even feel bad for myself because I feel like I should be saving way more reserves on everything from food, money, whatever. And I just decided like... If they come in talking that quarantine stuff, like, and then you got all these people complying because they ignorant. <laughs> they don't know they're being held hostage. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. Whatever they did to these jalapenos, look at that celery. Man, if you don't like no celery in your stock, your broth, you don't know what you missed. Oh, and I did use that garlic. So they're still wet, so I just squeezed the garlic out the hole. Let me baking them. Yep. Use garlic compote comfy or uh um. See that bone? See everybody can't eat like this. They'll get confused. Everything has to be, um... Oh, my nose running. I'm so happy. My nose running. Some people have unbearable heat. Like, you can't even taste your food. I still taste my food with this heat. 
you be telling them one. They say, uh, give me your heat level one through five or one through ten. I say one. So that means just put a few jalapenos in it, but not no firebird, African pepper and shit. Mmm. So, I was looking at this video. Allegedly, they got a new variant out that's going to um, start people to have heart failure. There's a possibility they might die in their sleep, right? I feel like for my creed, who I am in this realm, I feel like I'm very knowledgeable. And sometimes they do stuff around me to innocent bystanders. That's right. They do stuff around me, the innocent bystanders, to test our weapons. And I'd be like, dang. So, I'm at home. No, I'm on the road. And my neighbors say, it's so sad right now. I said, why? The lady across the street had a heart attack. She died in her sleep. I said, how old is she? 41. I say 41. Now, I was just talking about doing something or leaving and all this and that. And next thing you know, three people in this neighborhood done died from some type of heart issue. Remember, they're putting the morgue across the street. I'm not playing with y'all. When Sky say she living like a rolling stone, I get up out of here. Mm. If I'm going to live with PSYOPs, and weapon, weapons and stuff. I might as well go to the military town I come from. If I'm going to deal with them building infrastructure around me, like I'm the anomaly, that's right. When you are the anomaly... These cucumbers doing well in this hot broth. This soup is good. I mean, I ain't drunk no water. I ain't drank none of my uh, coconut. Oh, I put Kanye and pepper in here too. I should have. That's why the soup red. Cayenne pepper. Cayenne pepper. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Avocado. Um, herring. Noodles, jalapeno, mm-hmm, this delicious, I would sell this as a street food.
Mm -hmm. I'm glad I didn't mess it up by putting um, palm oil in it. Palm oil has its own distinctive taste. And if I were to put the palm oil in them um, with the heron, that would have been good. But I used the um, toasted sesame oil, which has its own distinctive flavor. But yeah, there's so much psyops going on. It's ridiculous. I went to sleep through the New Year party last night. A friend of mine said New Year's got something to do with the Moors surrendering. In Spain, you know, I'm celebrating my new year in March, first of spring. Also, I've been talking to the moon's energy, and I said, if we have 28 day cycles, feminine women menstruate, 28 day cycle. If we have 28 day cycle and they have a calendar that has 13 months with 28 day cycles, I'm, I got to start following that calendar for my own spiritual evolution. Remember, everything is done off the moon energy. So... I'm going to start going off of that 28-day-a-month calendar. Matter of fact, one second. Okay. Let's see the calendar real quick. I mean, not the calendar. <clears throat> okay. Um, calculator. 28 days times 13, 364 days. And that's not bad. We are based off a 365 day calendar and a leap year. And a leap year of a. Uh... This broth is so good. Very flavorful. Mm, mm, mm. I'm not going to drink it all, though, because I don't want that sodium. See, that's what I'm talking about. We were doing fine. Because somebody had wanted to do some of that one measly thing in here. Mm -hmm. He won't even go in the trash can. I got to put that vinegar down. Mm. Well, I shall appreciate y'all. The 28-day calendar is will suffice with 365 days, just 364 in 13 months. Mm, mm, mm. I showed my mom my smoothie. I want one. Where you got the? You got to chew your broth for these bones. That's good. That lemon juice. I mean that lime juice. That oil. That spice. Mm, mm, mm. Squeeze a little lime in here. 
Delicious. Now that's swinging. That is swinging. Well, I'm full now. And um, I've been too lazy to edit my videos. Like, jab them all up. Cut them. Add them together. See, I still got that same cigar. Oh, I didn't drink yesterday. I ain't do nothing. I'm a bad influence, y'all. I ain't make no New Year resolution. I just, I said I was going to start, I was going to start a new savings journey, though. There's another thing I want to do for savings. Okay, some happen. Oh, excuse me. Why every time I smoke this, that burp finally come out? I can't be associating me hitting the cigar once in the uh the burp come out. <laughs> That's like a person that want to burp. And then. Oh, I got all my clothes washed, everything. I didn't do the spiritual mopping and stuff because my new year starts uh, in March. But next week, I will do it anyway. Because um, I got to do some soul searching and I need to do a spiritual bath. And if the gym is open later today, I think I'm going to the gym. Yeah. Oh, I didn't eat the rest of this avocado crap. But if my mom come, I can put it in her smoothie. So, I'm going to get off here until next time. Ain't that something? I hit the cigar and then all the little burping come up. But that's a good thing. That's a good thing to know. That's a good thing to know. I really enjoyed y'all. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Like I said, I didn't do too many New Year resolutions. I just know if they start all this psyops on us globally, which they're already doing, but I mean like start pushing the agenda to the point where you feel like you don't have any rights, that's going to be the issue. So there we have it. Unearthed magic. The truth will definitely set you free. Mm -hmm.